Okay. I have the uh, unit plugged into a variac. I put a fuse in. I bypass the extra fuse in here with a jumper. Just temporarily while I'm testing it. And throw the power switch. Power switch is on. I'm going to bring the variac up slowly. This thing hasn't had power applied to it in ages. Now I have some smaller fuses in here than normal. Like I said in the previous video, I um, I was given this SX1010 and I replaced all the caps in the power supply regulation board here because they were in uh, bad shape. So now I'm across the main supply, bringing this variac up slow. Uh, let me go over to the... Uh, negative here. Try to hook this on to the negative. There we go. Negative 5.7 volts on the caps. Bring it back up to the positive 5.8. There's a huge inrush on these big caps. But if you bring the voltage up slow, um, you won't get as much inrush. Okay. I'm very likely to blow my fuse in my Variac, but that's fine. I mean, this unit hasn't been powered up in a long time, so... Bringing it, bringing it up slowly is the best way to go, I think. Sitting at 15 volts. Hopefully I didn't put any of my capacitors in backwards so they won't explode in my face. Okay, I'm going to pause the video. I'll be right back. This is interesting. I just wanted to show you the the little light on the uh, tuning indicator just came on at about 20 volts on the main caps. So maybe she has a heartbeat, maybe not. Looks like the other lights are starting to come on now taking a chance with my Variac, which has a 1.75 amp fuse in it. So that is likely to blow, but... ...22 volts. Starting to get some dim display lights coming on. Ooh. I just heard the relay click, so I I shut it down. <laughs> 